Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to fix a hard drive or SSD problem inside Windows. Now, inside Windows, we have a tool called Check Disk, which will allow you to regularly check your hard drive for any sort of system error or errors on the drive or maybe bad sectors. And uh, basically what will happen is if you have a bad drive and you continue to use it, you can end up having a major crash and losing all your data. Now, there's quite a few ways to go about checking your drive to see whether your drive is failing or whether you have a bad drive. And if that's the case, you want to start thinking about replacing the drive and backing up your data. So first, let's have a look inside this PC. You can see I've got a drive here. We can right click on it and go to properties. And this will open up this little box here. Now inside here, we can go to tool section and you will then see an area that says error checking. We can now click on the check and you can see that it says you do not need to scan this drive. That's because it's already checking the drive and it can always tell that we don't have a bad drive here. We haven't found any errors on this drive. You can still scan the drive if you want to. And what it will do is run a quick check disk on that drive to see whether the drive is bad. Now, normally if you've got errors or bad sectors or something like that on the drive, it will normally de uh, detect these and start to show error messages. These can be in the form of a blue screen of death or something along those lines. Now, once we've done the check, we can check Event Viewer, which will then give us a lot more information about the scan that is just done on our hard drive. So let's go ahead and look at the information inside Event Viewer here. Now, this is an SSD we're doing a scan on here, but you'll see it does it in stages. It's got stage one, stage two, and then it will go through uh, stage three, and it will give you a bunch of information about what it's actually found during this scanning process. Now, if you've got problems with your drive, i.e. corrupted files or something along those lines, then the check disk can actually fix a lot of these problems. But if you've got more uh, serious problems with the drive, like bad sectors and other things like that, sometimes the drive can't fix these and it will mark them uh, unreadable. And basically it will ignore these bad sectors. But as soon as you start getting bad sectors, on the drive, it's time to think about replacing that drive. I see so many people continuing to use their drive, even though uh, they know it has bad sectors on it. So let's have a look at command prompt. You can do a lot of this stuff in command prompt here as well. And I'll go through here and show you exactly what you can do. First off, we can type check this with this command, chkdsk, and this checks your hard drive for errors. And this command also uh, does not attempt to fix any problems. It's just going to run a quick check on the drive to see if there's any problems detected. And you'll see down here it gives you a full breakdown of what it's actually done, just like I showed you previously. There's no uh, bad files detected. There's no errors and there's no bad sectors on here. It will tell you whether there is a bad sector and it will list it right there and you'll be able to see. Now you can also do check disk chk dsk space forward slash question mark and this will give you a list of all the commands and switches that you can use inside command prompt and you can see them listed all here so we've got forward slash f which gives you a fixes errors on the disk we also have forward slash r and this will locate bad sectors and recovers uh, readable information so that is another common one that is used and we also have forward slash x which forces the volume to dismount first if necessary and there's a bunch of other ones on there as well. So these are the ones you can use inside command prompt. And I'll show you how to do that here. And what you can do is we'll go to the actual command line and we'll type out a command and do a check. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So let's go ahead and do a command now. And what we'll do is we'll do a check disk space forward slash F to try and fix errors. So let's go ahead and do that. So chk dsk space you want C colon because we want to tell it to scan our C drive for any errors. And then we want to tell it to do a forward slash F. And this is going to attempt to fix errors while scanning your drive. Now, you won't need to do the forward slash F if you don't have any sort of errors on your drive because you'll just be wasting your time. You can do a check disk, which is chkdsk on your drive to see whether there is any problems. We need to restart the PC because the drive is in use and it needs to do it on the next reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot the system. Now during the reboot process, you'll get a chance to skip this if you don't want it, but we're gonna let this finish 
and go through our scan to check to see if there's any errors and try to fix them. And you'll see this going along and it will do stage one, stage two and stage three. And you can see it's now finished its scan and done a 100% complete scan on the system. And it will now boot back up to the desktop. So we've done our first initial scan, which is going to try to fix errors. Next, to go back into our command prompt here and we'll try the forward slash R, which is going to attempt to uh, repair bad sectors on your drive so that they're readable uh, within the file system. And this command also runs the check disk forward slash F. So we don't need to do a forward slash F and a forward slash R in this case. So we can do check disk space C colon uh, space forward slash and then we can do R. And this will do both of them. But we're going to do a forward slash X here. And this will also mean that you can dismount that drive. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. It, in this case, it's not. And we're going to have to push Y for yes and restart the system for it to do our uh, check disk forward slash R. So let's go ahead and do this. And this is uh, for bad sectors. So if you have got a suspicion your drive is starting to fail, running this command will uh, tell you whether you've got bad sectors and it will start to give you some information. So let's go ahead and let this run. I've speeded that process up and now we're booting back up to our desktop. So they're the two most common commands you can run on your system to try to fix any sort of errors or any sort of bad sectors or mark those bad sectors. So let's go ahead and uh, do another one. Now you may be saying, what if I can't get to the desktop? Well, if you can't get to the desktop, you can run these commands from your installation media or you can get into the recovery uh, console, which is going to allow you to run these. So basically, this is what you're going to get at choose an option. We can now go through and go to troubleshoot at this stage and then come down and click on troubleshoot and it will give you a chance to reset this PC or go to advanced and then we can now go to our command prompt. Now you can do this from your bootable media which is your Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable media which you installed Windows with and run these commands from that section too. So you can do the same thing and do check disk and do check disk forward slash F and do check disk or slash R. You would need to tell it uh, to scan your C drive or whatever drive you want to scan. So it's not just your C drive, you can scan any drive. Another way is if your PC is not booting, you can boot into what we call a WinPE, which is a pre-installed environment. And this is a really useful thing to have WinPE for. You can boot up to any WinPE if you've got your own ones uh, that's got tools that you can scan. Uh, for bad sectors or scan for errors on your drive, you can use something like this. And this can be very useful for also recovering data from that drive if the PC is non-bootable. Now, where WinPE comes into its own is if you can't boot the PC to the desktop and it won't boot up. You can use something like this to boot into this uh, environment and then you can go here and you can load up Crystal Disk Info or you can load up any sort of tool that you have on here to either back up data or even check the drive to see if the drive is failing. So if the drive is uh, doing some weird behavior, like being really slow, or it's kicking up errors, or you're having some sort of issue with it and it's not booting, then you could have a failing drive. And something like, say, Disk Genius or something like that will tell you. There's other tools you can use as well. But inside here, this will give you quite a lot of information about the drive, and you can see whether the drive is starting to fail. If it is, it's time to start thinking about getting your data off and replacing that drive. There's no good reformatting it and putting Windows back on because those bad sectors will still be there. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do some quick checks on here and I'll show you how you can. You can right click on here and it gives you a bunch of options for a bunch of tools here, which you can run here. You can even clone the drive or even back up data from here if you wanted to using say a Cronus or whatever backup software we, you want to use. So what we're going to do is we'll quickly check uh, the smart readout of this uh, drive here as well. So let's go to partitions here. And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to click on the drive itself, go to disk up the top. You'll see disk here. And what we're going to do here is quickly go to verify or repair bad sectors, or we can review uh, the smart information. So let's do that one first. And you should see something looking like this, where it gives you the information for that particular drive. It will tell you the temperature. It will tell you whether the drive is in good health. 
and it will also give you a load of information which you can use. Now you can do this from the desktop which I've already shown you before with Crystal Disk Info, but if you want to verify and repair the drive, you can try to do a scan on that drive. So we're going to select the disk on that drive, and then we're going to run a quick scan over the surface of the drive. There's more in-depth scans you can do here, but they will take a lot longer to do. So we're just going to do a quick uh, scan to see whether there's any sort of damage to that drive or whether it's just some sort of error on the Windows operating system that's causing an issue. So what you can do here is you'll see that it's set out on the right hand side saying excellent, good, normal, general, poor, severe and damaged. So if you see any of the bottom three, you know you're having issues with that drive. Severe and damage means you've probably got, uh, you know, bad sectors or something wrong with that drive and you're going to need to start thinking about replacing it. So let's go ahead and run a quick surface scan here. And again, we're not going to do any sort of repair because the drive is in good known working order. So we'll just do a quick scan and you'll see a bunch of uh, colored squares going up, telling you exactly what's going on. Now, normally, if the drive is starting to fail, you'll see a bunch of red coming up on the screen. And these are what we'll class as bad sectors. And uh, what will happen is you're not going to be able to uh, continue to use that drive uh, unless you mark those bad sectors as unreadable and it will just ignore them. But eventually what's going to happen is these will start to cause major problems with crashing blue screens. And you can still have a lot of issues with uh, a drive which is going bad. So it's always important to replace that drive. Now, I will say that you can also, if you don't have a WinPE or anything like that, you can remove the drive from that computer that is not booting and put it into some sort of USB to SATA cable. Or you can use one of those docking stations, what you see on the right hand side there, it doesn't matter what brand, but you can put the drive in there and recover the data from them. They also do uh, SSDs, uh, NVMe type uh, caddies, which you can use. And also they do other types for all types of drives where you can then remove the data from that drive or even run scans on that drive to see if it's going bad. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Pretty basic stuff for a lot of people. But it's also going to help people that are beginners and they don't understand what's happening to their computer. And they can use these techniques to try and find out whether their drive is going bad and how to back up their data and how to scan their drive and stuff like that. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.